When you are turning on the lamp, that means you are using the electricity. Hi guys, welcome back to Michelle's channel. For today, we are going to study about the electricity. So you can please open your textbook on page 70 to 71. We continue with unit 15. It's about electricity. Okay, I hope you can see it. When you are turning on the lamp, that means you are using the electricity. So need the electricity to turn on, turning on your laptop, electrical stove, and the other electrical appliances. But did you know what actually the electricity means? Theoretically, electricity is the flow of electric charge. Natural occurrences of electricity include lightning and static electricity. You can see this by rubbing a balloon on the fiber and then you let the balloon close to the paper. Small pieces of paper will stand up and jump to the balloon. This is called as the static electricity. Why? Because the charge doesn't move but stay on the balloon. I would like to explain first something which is a little bit deeper. In this universe, we know that the things are made of the atoms. Atoms itself actually, no, every single atom actually has the nucleus. This is called, let's just say this is the nucleus. The circle you see, it's, uh, you see, this one is the nucleus. Nucleus itself has, or it contains, two particles the first is called as the protons protons are the positive particles of electricity charge while neutrons they don't have positive nor negative electricity charge and then outside of the nucleus they are called as the electrons electrons are the negative parts or particles of the electricity charge. of electricity the first is the static electricity and another is the lightning The electricity is very important in our daily life, but we need to know how to safely use it. We need to know the safe way to control it. There are several sources of electricity. Before this, I already mentioned to you the natural occurrences of electricity. What are they? Explain it to me. 
Besides those natural occurrences, we also have another sources of electricity. The first I will say as the generator. Generator in Bahasa or in Indonesia, we call that as the electricity generator. We get it from PLN or you know that as socket, socket electrical source socket generator socket or I'll just say PLN PLN is a place for you for the government to collect the electrical energy and generate the electricity so they can flow it home to home place to places PLN itself is the shortening of the perusahaan listrik negara and why I, do I say bahasa because it's in bahasa Indonesia perusahaan listrik negara okay another is you can get the electricity from the battery the batteries are the source of electricity energy or it keeps the electricity energy but it's different with the socket or the power generator why because the battery can be brought anywhere if you need it inside of the battery inside of each of the battery it has something that is called as the chemical compounds the chemical compounds will be converted into the electrical energy once you need it as an example when you put it into your toys or you put it into the clock externally the battery has two poles positive poles and the negative pole okay so if you have the battery in your home i want you to just see your battery this is the box type of battery they are still the same even they are box or they have the the tube shape the positive one is marked by this see this okay so this is called as the positive pole and this part is called as the negative pole you can see the written negative here and the positive is up here see this while the box battery also show you the same positive negative okay um the bigger one i have this wait i haven't opened it this one yet the batteries themselves they actually have the expiration date so you have to pay attention when you buy the battery if you limit or beyond the expiration date you should to throw it away but remember don't throw the battery into the fire it will blow why do you think it can blow remember again my explanation because the battery contains the chemical compounds okay now my questions are the first question pay attention carefully write down 10 things that need the battery to work okay the second write down 10 things that need the electrical power generator or the socket to work let's review what's the meaning of electricity write down two natural occurrences of electricity those are the additional questions from me before this i have asked you to write the things in your green book also and what are they that's why I say to you, please don't skip my video. I didn't make this video for any purposes but to help you to study well at home. So please don't skip it. You have to study from the beginning till the end, not only skip it and just see in the end to see your assignment. I don't want to gain anything you ask. Which one my assignment miss? Which one miss? Say, what miss? I don't know. Did you ask that assignment? Hmm, please. Class pay attention not only in the classroom but also at your home even you study at home pay attention please yes, that's all from me today please keep your healthy as well and don't forget to subscribe like and comment
okay see you next time bye bye